Welcome to week one of class. My name is William Stowe and I'm your instructor this semester or for this course I guess. Um, a little bit about me, I'm from Texas if you haven't noticed from my accent and uh, let's see I have two daughters and a lovely wife that I've been married to for 17 years. I have a little dog named Sophie and uh, enjoy the outdoors, fishing, stuff like that. So tell me a little bit about yourself and you do your, your introduction this week. Some helpful hints. Let's see, first you need to order your lab kit. That's an important one. Then you're also going to need to look at assignment one in the lab. So let's start with assignment one. Um, week one assignment, make sure you determine the number of, of earths that would be required if everyone lived the way you do and post that in your table. And then when you're determining your products and practices, I want you to look at table A's data and then look at the ones that are the dominant ones in your table A data. And then you can make more information about that. Uh, question three asked uh, two actions that limit your carbon dioxide emissions and include the weight in CO2 that's in pounds and then a dollar amount. The other parts are self-explanatory, I hope. Let's see, let's see, the lab assignments. A couple of frequently asked questions, or excuse, well, missed questions, I should say. You need to make sure your hypothesis are in the required if-then format. So you would say something like, if this happens, then this should happen. That would be your hypothesis. And you'll make that fit for every assignment that we do with the hypothesis. Um, always cite your scholarly source, both in text citation, next to where you you use it in the paper or lab report and then reference it at the end in APA format. Questions five and six are sometimes confused. When you work on those, it's asking you to make a type of graph or refer to a type of graph that goes back to the data in question one of the lab. Not the one that you have proposed, but the one that comes with the original lab data. So some people get confused on that. I thought I'd make sure I gave you that little hint. Um, I hope this helps and make sure you let me know what you think about the little videos. I'll try to post more throughout the weeks coming up, coming up and uh, share your intro information and your introduction. Hope you enjoy the course.